I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at the greatest muscle car show on the planet, the Muscle Car and Corvette National in Rosemont, Illinois. It's the week before Thanksgiving. It's in the description, coming out to a great car show. And I'm with long-term person of watching the channel. I'm finally glad to meet him, Tim O'Dor. Tim, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Great that we finally get the chance to meet. And yes. you've got a great car. What year make and model is this one? I have a 1966 Buick Wildcat Custom Grand Sport Convertible. That's a lot. And let's see this big Buick right here. So first of all, 66, correct me if I'm wrong, was the very first year for that right there, which was yes. the Grand Sport. Yes, the first and only year offered in a full size. For a full size Wildcat, as you can see. And let me just come, come back with me right there. And we can just take a look at that right there. That really has a presence. Let's come along to the side and take a look at your car. It's got a really clean, classy look to this car, right? Yes. So. How long have you had it? I've had it about three years. Now, why this car out of all the cars in the world? Well, I was looking for a 66 GS Skylark and this popped up on the radar and I checked out a couple of bad pictures and it said it was restored and and uh, it was about the two hour drive from the house and I thought I better go look at it and I stepped out of my car into the driveway and my jaw hit the ground. I could not believe what <laughs> incredible condition it was in. And uh, long story short, I am now the owner. <laughs> well, you picked a good one. That's for sure. Are you pleased now that you are the owner? Yes, yes. It had a full frame off rotisserie restoration. Wow. Everything's been reconditioned or rebuilt. And let's take a look at inside our trunk. We've got some trunk and treats. This is the bonus of being a long time watcher of the channel. The nice thing is we opened this trunk and Tim had it all set up for me. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's good. Now, obviously, we can't go through everything, but tell me what we have over here. Well, this was some literature I found on eBay, and it's got some dealer stuff dated from February of 66. Mm -hmm. And it's got some Skylark and some full-size mm -hmm. information in here, all kinds of pricing. It also has the different... Um, options and groups of options. Where's yours? Mine would be the A9 Wildcat Grand Sport Performance Group. Oh. Okay, wonderful. And what's this booklet here? This one is an interesting one that has uh, oh, wow. the accessories, 66 and previous models. Huh. So it's got some 65, 64, 63 stuff in there. Uh, got the chrome dress up kit. Um, different lights and four-way flashers. You could order the cornering lights separately. Interesting. Uh, Four-note horn, which this has. Okay, we'll have to blow that horn. Yeah, and uh, the different wheel covers. You get the idea. Yeah. Just all the dealer installed possibilities. That's wonderful. And where's your car in this brochure? Take your time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. There go. And they don't show the convertible, just the Not in out. this brochure. Oh, that's great. Do they show the engine options in the back? Yes, I believe so. Well, some of the uh, mm -hmm. bling, there's the yeah. valve covers. What that's that? the Riviera speedometer. Nice, okay. Uh, so we'll uh, move right. on to Got it. Let's take a look at our interior. Oh, we got this one. Go ahead. Yeah, look at this one here has uh, some of the, the great fashion of the oh, era. Yeah, that's great. It opens up. Yeah. More stylish. Okay, there we go. Look at this. Wow. That's great. And here on the bottom. I don't know what's happening here. I would never put my car on rocks. 
I don't know how that happened, but uh, and another one that's in the Grand Canyon or something. Yeah. Right in the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Holy crap. And then uh, <laughs> turn uh, one more page. There, there. we go. It even gets more interesting. Yeah, and then you can see the auction of the convertible we go. there. Like yours. Yes. What's the color and, of yours? And then down here is the, the Grand Sport of the uh, Wildcat. Yeah. And it is white. White. All right. I'll let you put that away. May I open the interior? Come, may I open it? Yes. He's nodding yes, so I'm going to open it. Those of you who can't see, you're nodding yes. And this is a deluxe interior. Now tell me what the deluxe adds that the regular doesn't have. Obviously, uh, you've got power windows. Yeah, it's just a little fancier. It's got the... Uh, the brush stainless inset on it and the more flowing lines. Well, it sure looks the nice. option of the, uh, the buckets with the long operating console. What do we have here? That is a Puff, our cat. Our, so our this, is your, this is your wild cat? Yes, this is our wild cat. <laughs> <laughs> is that, well, I won't say. Puff's probably a wonderful powder puff. I'm just yes. going to leave it right there. <laughs> Good to see you, Puff. All right. If Puff is the magic dragon, then Puff is actually the wild cat. So we'll just assume Puff is the nicest cat in the world. Yes. That's wonderful. Puff's, the, Puff's uh, a powder puff. Dealer installed four ways. Oh, very nice. Wait, wait. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Can we turn the lights on? Just because it'll give it... Yeah, that's nice. A little extra glow. Yeah, a little extra glow. We like a little extra glow. Now you added those. Yes. It's a little yes. not so that though. I don't know what the engine's doing. That is a factory tack in the most uh, inconvenient spot. Yeah, that's not good. Who's going to look down there when you're turning four grand? Well, the person who's going to look down there is the person who's not going to have his car very long because he's going to run it right into something. Yeah. But yeah, and you've got the the Wildcat over there, the GS. That's pretty good. It's nice how they have that there. Yeah, that's a hard one to find. Uh, okay, do you have to start it to beep your four-tone horn? I do not. Okay, go ahead, blow your four-tone four. four. <laughs> wow, all aboard. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. That woke well. up everybody here. All right, let's open it, shall we? Sure. I like that look, too, with the, with the headlights there. Let me have you step back for a second. Sure. Yeah, I like That's that. That's a parking I lights. call it understated elegance. Really looks amazing. How long was the restoration? There's, um, your, there's your bugle. Yeah. Um, it, it was about a four year restoration. Plural. I'm counting yeah. one, two, three. Four on the other side. Four. You know what, that's a great thing about this American car. Boy, you blow that thing, you're knocking <laughs> cars off the road. That doesn't say American, I don't know what does. That is absolutely spotless. Am I missing the fender tag? Uh, it the, is not is on the, the vehicle. Okay. I am missing it then, okay. It really looks nice. I like how they put that Buick script there too. Yeah. With the uh, fins in the valve covers. All right, let's fire it up, shall we? Sure. We'll do our usual routine. We'll step on the brakes. We'll let it idle. Smooth motor. Yeah. Holy you. cow. Look at that thing. Doesn't even move. All right, can we step on the tail lights? That's good. All right, let me listen to it idle. Oh, that is one big boat. 
Right, let's uh, give it a rev. One more good one. Ooh, that sounded great. All right, we'll shut that down. Hop on out. Wow, that was smooth. Look at those horns. We'll close that. Tim, stand right next to me. Yes. Right oh, there. Okay. <laughs> Tim, great car. So nice to meet you. Thanks for being a supporter to the channel. Thanks for being on my car story. My pleasure. Thank you.